Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. Pie menus are a fantastic asset to speeding up your workflow, right? We all use pie menus. You probably use control space to change the viewport, camera, right, left, up, down, right? Once you commit those to muscle memory, you can work super quickly. Control one, I use a lot as well, toggling things off like cameras, lights, locators, uh, create a work plane, do those you know toggles hundreds of times a day probably. Uh, control two, super useful. Popping uh, over to wireframe, default, VMAP, super useful, right? Some people use uh, alt space as well. I don't tend to use it, I use the buttons, but you can use alt space to pop in these, uh, you know, in this new moto layout. And people do um, tend to use these quite a bit as well. But control three, you know, we use control one, control two, control three, I don't use this so much anymore. I tend to use uh, these buttons down here and up here instead of getting these popover viewports now. And control four, again, this is sort of, you know, geared towards topology use, I guess. So if you re retopologize a lot, maybe you like this one, but I typically just don't use it. And it, it just seems sort of like a random assortment of tools. I guess they're really topology based, but I never really use those. And I think there's a couple of other Pi menus that Moto ships with that are much better geared towards control three and control four. And since we use control one and control two all the time, control three and control four are obvious places for these. So let's take a look at those real quick. If you go over to the system menu and pop open the form editor, you can see there's a whole category of pie menus right here. And you see one called action centers and you see one called fall offs. Now these are both things that you're going to be using a lot in Moto. And while there's keyboard shortcuts for action centers, and I do recommend memorizing those keyboard shortcuts, most of them, at least three or four most common ones, uh, really good to have those um, you know, nailed down to muscle memory. It's useful to have these as a pie menu as well. So you can preview this form here and you can kind of see what's going on. Here's the you know, local, automatic, screen, element, uh, selection, origin. Those are all super useful. Same with fall offs, right? Um, clear fall offs, vertex map, linear, cylinder, radial. Airbrush screen element, those are all super useful. Although I, did, I rarely use airbrush. Air, airbrush is kind of a neat parlor trick and maybe some of you guys use it, but I use soft selection far more often. In fact, I'm guessing this pie menu was made prior to soft selection being uh, an available fall off that was implemented, implemented in Moto. So we're actually gonna change that one. And so you do that by just clicking down here and we can see uh, airbrush fall off right there. And we can see the command used for airbrush fall off right here. Tool set fall off airbrush on. And we just need the same thing for uh, soft selection. So we can go over here and turn on soft selection. And we just uh, scroll up our command list here and take a look at that command. Just twirl down a couple times. Uh, tool set fall off soft selection on. So copy that, come over here to airbrush, paste that, and we'll just rename this soft selection. So we just customize, make sure you spell it right, <laughs> just customize that uh, uh, fall off menu. And then to get these things applied to a hotkey, it's really easy. You just right click on these guys and say assign to key. I'm going to say control three for action centers, hit OK. It'll let me know that it's already assigned to one of these uh, uh, form popovers, that the one I just showed. But I want to replace that and fall offs. I want to put that at control uh, four. So assign to key, control four. And now I think, um, same thing, say OK to overwrite. And now I think we're just, we have some much more useful looking uh, uh, hotkeys here. So we can, I'm just gonna clear my fall offs here with Control-4. So just scrolling that down real quick. I'm gonna actually turn off this uh, Mac cap so I can see my selections, which are orange. And yeah, so we just loop that and expand it a couple times. And Control-4, we're gonna go to a soft selection fall off and activate, say, the Move tool right click to adjust that soft selection. And again, I think that's just super nice to have those here, especially this one, control four clear fall offs. Now I just dropped it all right. For action center, let's do, this is sort of a common one. We've got a cube here, and then sometimes you'll get a situation where you have this. Maybe I'll just put a quick uh, loop in here like this, and I want to move this up the plane here. So again, control three, we'll go to element and we'll pick our element. And uh, now we just move it along that um, element we just picked there, that polygon. So, and we can always go back to uh, any, you know, whatever automatic, which is the default for a lot of these tools if we wanted to use the planar handles. But anyway, it's, it's great to learn the keyboard shortcuts of all those action centers, but it's also nice to have them right here as a pie menu, and especially the fall offs, being able to clear fall offs. Those are much more useful than the uh, default ones in Control-3 and Control-4, in my opinion. 
And to make sure you lock this into Moto, make sure you go up to File and Config Save to save those keyboard shortcuts into your config. So the next time you load up Moto, they will be there. Yum, yum.